What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I want to thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A120. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is a Heaven Hill product that is named after the proclaimed founder of bourbon, Elijah Craig. This bourbon has a 12 year age statement and is bottled at barrel proof without chill filtration. Three batches are released every year and this batch is the first release of 2020. The Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A120 carries a 12 year age statement. It has a mash bill of 78% corn, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley. The ABV is 68.3%, 136.6 proof with an MSRP of around $60. Let's check out the bottle for a second. The bottling on this one, guys, is your typical Elijah Craig bottling. Just a little bit of a label change right here on the front. And of course, on the side, it has a 12 year age statement. And it does say non chill filtered. Back to the front label, it says barrel proof, of course. It does have the ABV and the proof also on this front label and the batch. This is batch A120. There's three batches released a year in A, B, and C. This is A batch being the first, one being January, and the 20 stands for the year 2020. On the stem of the neck of this bottle also, it does say barrel proof across the stem of the neck, and the cork is your standard Elijah Craig cork. It does have the wooden top. It says Elijah Craig, right here in cursive on top of the cork and it is a synthetic cork. Not a whole lot changed with the bottling, just a little bit of a labeling change due in part to the barrel proof. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. Let's check out the color. The color on this one, guys, is a nice dark copper or mahogany color to the whiskey. I am gonna coat the glass a little bit just to see how viscous and oily the whiskey is. And as you can see, it's just painting the sides of the glass. A super viscous and oily whiskey. It has thick, slow running legs, nice viscosity on the whiskey, beautiful color. With that being said, let's get into the nose. Before I get into nosing this, guys, I do wanna let you know I did let this open up in the glass for about 15 minutes. I typically do that on all my reviews, but this one especially, it's 136.6 proof. Probably a good practice to let it open up in a glass for about 10 to 15 minutes prior to nosing and tasting the whiskey. Let's get into the nose, guys. Right away, I'm getting a nice, rich brown sugar. A little bit of citrus zest, like, a, like an orange zest also on the nose. Some black pepper and clove also and some baking spice present. And there's also a little bit of like a, a sweetness, like a vanilla in there also. You like a creamy vanilla. It almost reminds me of like a, a, a vanilla ice cream or vanilla milkshake. There's a little bit of a nuttiness to it. Not much, but it's kind of typical on your Heaven Hill products. I get a nice nutty note. This is coming across like a, a hazelnut. And like a, there's also a smoky, oaky characteristic to the nose. Definitely not an overbearing oak note. It has a 12 year age statement. Very nice balanced nose, but the oak note is there. But it's coming across like a smoky oak note on the nose. So again, that vanilla ice cream's kind of coming through. The citrus zest, there is a little bit of a pepperiness or a spiciness to the nose. And that ethanol presence is, is very subtle, but it is there. Very rich and dense nose on the whiskey and very robust. Beautiful nose, it is coming across, it's, it's got a little bit of everything, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of citrus. It definitely has a nice oak note on the nose. Once again on the nose, Get a nice like vanilla milkshake or vanilla ice cream note. Of course, you get a nice oaky characteristic. It's coming across as a smoky, oaky characteristic. Also, you're getting some brown sugars, a little bit of peppery spice, some baking spices, and some clove notes on the nose. Very nice nose. 
and more approachable than you would think it would be coming in at 136.6 proof. That being said, guys, let's get into the taste. Cheers. Mm. Very nice, viscous, oily whiskey. It's a nice mouthfeel. I did pick up a little bit of that citrus zest or that orange peel that we got on the nose. You can almost chew on the whiskey. Very rich and robust. It's finishing off in a nice smoky oak note and maybe even a little bit of tobacco on the first sip. Very nice first sip, guys. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. Mm. Very nice, very nice pour of whiskey. In front of the palate, definitely picked up a little bit of that vanilla vanilla cream or vanilla ice cream on the front of the palate but it's just an initial blast on the front of the palate mid palate's where all the action's at you get a nice citrus zest that orange peel some baking spice and some clove and the finish you're getting a, ni a nice brown sugar a smoky oak note and it's finishing off in a nice tobacco note very nice tobacco note and the oak note is not overbearing very nice well-rounded and nice smoky oak note on the finish a little bit of tobacco very very nice second sip guys let's go in for a third cheers Mm. Very consistent pour. Now that my palate has become acclimated to the whiskey, definitely get a nice vanilla cream on the front of the palate. Citrus zest and some baking spices mid palate. And it's finishing off in this nice smoky oak note. But on, on the back of the, of the palate, you're definitely getting a nice like hazelnut note and some brown sugar. But the finish just lingers on. Got a nice long finish, smoky oak note, and a nice tobacco finish on the third sip. Outstanding pour, very robust, rich, dense whiskey. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Elijah Craig A120. Guys, outstanding pour of bourbon whiskey. I think all of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs are just great value and outstanding pours of bourbon whiskeys. You can't really go wrong. This is a $60 MSRP. I think I paid $65 for mine. Just an outstanding value and a great pour of bourbon whiskey. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I want to thank you for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you like what I'm doing, hey guys, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, cheers.